What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be taking a look at Ubuntu Mate 19.04 beta and with the anticipation of the final release being on, I believe the 18th of April, I decided I'll take a look at some of the flavors in the beta version uh, this week and I'll just take a look at the main flavors when they're actually released. And also keep in mind, this is my first time using the Mate desktop environment and also hopefully I'm pronouncing it correctly. If not, write down in the comments how it should be pronounced. Um, but yeah, of course I tested it out a little bit before making a video, so yeah. But with that being said, when you start up the system, you have this welcome screen. And this is quite nice. I like when distros have this. Um, it's nice for beginners, you know, to kind of get more familiar with the system. But yeah, so the thing that caught my attention right away when I first tried this out is I noticed that there's two panels, one on the top, one on the bottom. And so in the bottom, you can see that, and sorry if the animation is sluggish, this is on a virtual machine. But on the bottom, you can see it's more of like a taskbar, like handling the windows, um, kind of like how it was in Windows XP and 7. Um, and at the top, it's more so of a launcher uh, panel. So this is quite interesting because you can drag the icons wherever you want them to be. Um, but yeah, you just launch them from the top and handle your windows at the bottom. Also, this uh, icon here can toggle the desktop so I can show the desktop and then you have your workspaces as well and then you also have the trash folder so this is quite nice you know you have your for the top panel and also you have your system tray and the menu here and you know this it's pretty nice uh, it's definitely unique I haven't really seen a setup like this with two panels um, but when you maximize the window this is in my opinion um, with the default setup that they show here it's probably the um, you know its biggest downside is the fact that when there's two panels here and on top of that there's a title bar and then a menu bar and then whatever this is um, uh, the main toolbar when there's so many toolbars and whatnot um, it really takes away from your vertical screen estate so um, you know if you're on you know I'm on an ultra wide but if you're using a laptop monitor you know with a laptop screen with um, a lower resolution then you know you won't really have as much space and that's not really ideal um, but apart from that it's nice you know you can appreciate it for what it is so uh, looking at the applications as you can see in the all category there's quite a lot there's a decent amount uh, I won't be taking a look at them one by one or uh, looking at specific ones um, because that's just going to take too much time. But you can take a quick glance and see that um, it basically has everything you'd need, like most of the basic stuff. Um, and it categorizes them. You can also search for whatever you want here. Um, and so yeah, you know, it has the office uh, programs, you know, it has a text editor. Um, again, sorry for the sluggish movement, this is kind of odd. Um, you know, it has a calculator, you know, file manager, Firefox for its main browser, it's quite interesting. And speaking of these, actually, let me take a look at the system monitor. Of course, I'm on a virtual machine, so, you know, um, it won't be as good, but wow, this is this is quite interesting. It's actually taking over a gigabyte of RAM, and like I said, I mean, uh, I'm on a I'm on a virtual machine. I'm recording as well, but I mean, still, like, I'm assuming on real hardware, it might be what maybe exactly a gigabyte, maybe nine hundred and something megabytes. That's that's interesting, you know, because. I really thought that this would be kind of less resource intensive. 
um, but I can see definitely like for some reason my my system's stuttering a little bit um, anyway yeah you know you have the main stuff um, I don't know about some people because some people like their system to be less cluttered you know to have um, as little programs installed as possible and to you know kind of just install what they actually want later on um, I don't know for me personally it's not that big of a deal but I do see that there's quite a lot of stuff here um, but it's nice you know if someone wants um, a media player they have it if they have uh, or if they want um, a music player they have that as well you know and not everyone would want a calculator but you know it's it's pretty nice to to just have them right and if you really don't want it you can always uninstall it but um, but I can see how how things would get um, confusing though because there's a lot of settings and options here and thankfully there's a control center where everything is kind of grouped up um, and easy to find and of course you know if if you want anything from here to you know search it up like for for example mouse settings you could just do it right here um, but I mean you know there's there's definitely a lot of ways to access like a lot of the stuff here and then and like I said there's a lot of settings like for example the appearance settings if you right click on the desktop um, you'd basically get the same same window um, and speaking of appearance settings let's take a look at some of the wallpapers so um, I think the like looking at it there's a decent amount of wallpapers and the wallpapers that are offered um, they're not bad you know they're pretty nice if some of them look blurry this is because they're stretched um, into different aspect ratio but I'm just gonna pick one and just stick with it um, of course you have the font settings the interface um, it just allows you to toggle on and off whether you want icons in the menus and now for theme now looking at the themes um, again just as a whole I'd say like this theme obviously is reminiscent of unity but I'd also say that you know the desktop environment certainly reminds me as well because there's also other options apart from just customizing the themes here and so there's a light and a dark version I'm gonna just stick with a dark one but the other ones honestly if I have to be honest they're not even worth taking a look at because they look very outdated in my opinion and another thing that is kind of like especially for a beginner kind of hard to find is if you go here uh, and customize um, you know you have many many options here um, and so the themes as a whole there they pack everything into a single theme um, but when you go into these subcategories you know you can kind of switch it up you know you can switch the title bar the colors um, the icon theme and the pointer or the cursor theme in other words so you know if someone were to want to for example change their cursor you know they're really there aren't really any settings here right like they'd have to go to appearance and then um, they'd kind of have to navigate their way through it so of course you know like I mentioned I kind of took a look at the environment before I uh, decided to make the video but you know not everyone's going to be able to kind of navigate their way so fast um, through it and actually uh, I probably if I didn't even take a look at this I, I wouldn't have even noticed um, how to adjust that but um, but yeah but that's why it's also nice you know that they just have everything um, you know kind of categorized here so um, you can you know navigate your way um, there's a lot of stuff you know there's for network stuff you know the look the personalization you know hardware related and stuff so so you know there's a lot of um, there's a lot of things that you can um, 
change up and whatnot. And if we take a look at the Mate tweak, so for the desktop, you can choose which icons you want to appear on the desktop, if you want any at all. And then for the panel, now this is very nice. Now, one, one, although one thing that I, I haven't noticed is, um, I haven't noticed the setting where you can change the height of the panel, but they do kind of have like, I guess, themes here, or setups. So if you want kind of a more Mac-ish type theme, um, you know, with the dock at the bottom, the panel on top, you kind of have that option here. And you have also other options as well, but this one's my favorite because, like I mentioned, like the themes um, that are available, of course you just kind of have to change these icons to be orange, but um, it's really nice because the theme and, and the icons are very reminiscent um, and, and even the like the panel here at the top and the, the launcher um, on the left and, and it even switches the title bar buttons here at the left as well so if I maximize that you know I have the menu bar here and on top of that I have the buttons here so it kind of merges you know this kind of fixes the problem I was talking about with the vertical vertical screen estate because now you know, with the title bar merging with the panel and with there being only one panel, you save so much space here. So this is very nice and this is also, um, you know, one of the things I miss the most about the Unity desktop environment, you know, um, unfortunately GNOME doesn't really have that, or maybe not by default at least. And then also for the menu, uh, you have now a full screen menu. So that's pretty nice, you know. So in terms of settings, there's a decent amount of settings, you know, de decent amount of ways to um, customize your system, which is nice. Definitely gives the user a lot of choice. And then also when it comes to software, um, you know, you have basically what you need, you know, a um, you have GW so that you can install the .dev packages. Um, driver support, updates of course, and then this is pretty interesting because it uses like this pretty neat um, software center. It's called the Software Boutique, I think that's how you pronounce it. But um, you know, it has all the categories here and if you wanna search for something specific, you, you can do that too. Now the only reason why I'm not really getting any options here is because I haven't updated the system, but I'm not really going to do that. Again, it's just a quick overview. Um, and I, I know I paid a lot of attention in terms of the desktop environment itself, but um, I think that not a lot of people really talk about this uh, desktop environment. Not a lot of people, um, you know, put a lot of focus on it. So I think it's worth talking about. Um, but yeah, you know, what would I say about this about this distro is well it's Ubuntu so you know um, from my past experiences it's been stable so I think this would be stable as well and even on even it being a beta version and um, also running on a virtual machine it hasn't crashed so that's always a good thing um, you know I mean Zorin OS it, it crashed once when I was trying to uh, change the layout of the desktop kind of like how um, the Mate desktop offers. Um, I think that it has a good set of applications pre-installed. Um, I think that they're ones that I see often that aren't really necessary like for example Thunderbird Mail. I don't really know a lot of people who you know use desktop clients for mail but I, I know many people do that as well so but I, I think it's more so of a personal preference thing and also let's see what it's called it was there we go so this one as well like the disk flat disk like burner or whatever um, it, it's nice to have but um, most new computers don't really even like custom built PCs they don't really have uh, the disk slots you know 
but but yeah um i personally like it i'm a fan of it of course you know i really like how it's reminiscent of unity um but the thing that i would say though for sure is maybe it's not the best environment for um beginners only because certain settings are kind of like harder to find like for example this but you know because there's there's just a lot of of things to look out for but honestly i don't think that's even too much of a of a problem let's see if it even has the the window thing like this is a really cool feature um to have but yeah you know uh that was basically it um and yeah you know it, it was definitely it was definitely a, a fun experience trying this desktop environment out so yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next video